Okay, um, welcome to Dance Awards Online Biology students all over the world, whoever is benefiting from this channel. Um, you're welcome to online um, lecture. And I want to make a good suggestion today for you. Uh, so it's a good um, news for many of the students. And the book that you see in here, <clears throat> which is Life on Earth, want to definitely suggest this book for every undergrads and even master students um, who are specialized on general biology to get this book. The latest versions are there. You can always get this book online. You can also get the PDF um, from the internet, though not the latest edition. So let's make biology simple. Today we're going to look at the gene pool. Uh, before we look at the gene pool, we have to understand the one single concept, which is how do organisms really evolve? When you understand the concept how organisms evolve, then we get into the details here, a gene pool. Evolution, we know it is the driving factor um, in which organisms will change in a period of time. The change in the gene frequency or allele frequency within a population, that is evolution. Now, what's a gene pool? In every population, you have individual members that combine and form a population. For instance, let's say an African cow population. Within this African cow population, each individual member will have alleles. Now let's say in the, each individual member will have two alleles and a population consisting of 20 individuals. Now each of them have two alleles. How do you know the number of your gene pool? Gene pool means you add all the different, different kinds of alleles together and you just have your gene pool. So let's say 10 individuals of African cow pools, each of the individuals have two alleles, that is two different versions of genes. So two times 10 will give you 20, and that will be your gene pool. Your gene pool would be 20. Now, this is just a simple addition of your uh, different alleles. What is an equilibrium population? Now, what I want to you to understand is the principle of Hardy Weinberg. Hardy Weinberg. Hardy and Weinberg, these are scientists who propose that how about if a population is there and there is no evolution possible in this population. So they came up with this hypothetical, um, this hypothesis that uh, they call hardy weinberg uh, principle. And this means a population where evolution is not possible. That is hardy weinberg principle. So they set certain factors that must be present before a population can go through this equilibrium population state. So when you say that an equilibrium population is a population where there is no evolution possible, and this was made by Hardy and Weinberg, these are two scientists, the conditions that are to be met for a population to remain constant or at equilibrium will be discussed in our next lecture. Before the next lecture, I want you to know, or I want you to go and research can equilibrium population really possible in nature? This I want you to find out before our next lecture. So thank you for watching this video. I hope it is really, really gonna help. And before our next lecture, just make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you can have access to the classic biology videos that will be coming your way. Until then, stay tuned and enjoy.